the indigenous education system of the Dega, people before French colonization. The Dega people, an indigenous group residing in the central highlands of East Asia, possess a rich cultural heritage and a unique social structure. Before the onset of French colonization, the Dega community had established a comprehensive education system that catered to the needs of its youth. This education system was characterized by a well-defined curriculum that spanned from grade 1 to grade 12, demonstrating the Dega people's commitment to intellectual development and cultural preservation. Central to the Dega education system was the integration of traditional knowledge and practices, which were essential for the community's survival and identity. The curriculum emphasized not only academic subjects, but also the importance of local customs, oral traditions, and practical skills. The Dega people believe that education should empower individuals to contribute meaningfully to their society, while fostering a sense of belonging and cultural pride. Schools were often community-based and operated under the guidance of local elders and knowledgeable individuals who played a pivotal role in imparting wisdom and skills. This grassroots approach to education ensured that the values, beliefs, and traditions of the Dega people were transmitted effectively to the younger generations. The curriculum was designed to be relevant to the lives of the students, encouraging them to engage with their environment and understand their cultural context. In addition to academic learning, the Dega education system promoted critical thinking, problem-solving, and collaboration among students. These skills were vital for navigating the complexities of their social and natural landscapes. The existence of such a robust education system highlights the Dega people's foresight in prioritizing education long before external influences sought to impose their own systems. Overall, the Dega people's indigenous education system was a testament to their resilience and adaptability. It laid the foundation for a culturally rich community that valued knowledge, tradition, and collective well-being, making it a significant aspect of their identity prior to the challenges posed by French colonization. The original Dega alphabet was a unique and culturally significant writing system utilized by the Dega people, an indigenous group in the central highlands of East Asia. This alphabet played a crucial role in the preservation and transmission of the Dega language, literature, and cultural identity prior to the advent of colonial influences. The Dega alphabet was characterized by its distinct characters and phonetic structure, which were tailored to represent the sounds and nuances of the Dega language effectively. Linguistically, the original Dega alphabet consisted of a series of symbols that corresponded to various phonemes in the language. This phonetic correspondence allowed for a more accurate representation of spoken Dega, facilitating communication among speakers and aiding in the educational development of the community. The alphabet was instrumental not only in daily interactions, but also in the teaching of essential subjects within the Dega school curriculum, which spanned from grade 1 to grade 12. Moreover, the original Dega alphabet served as a medium for the documentation of oral traditions, stories, and religious texts, thereby enriching the cultural tapestry of the Dega people. The ability to write and read in their own language fostered a sense of pride and identity among the Dega, as it empowered them to assert their cultural heritage in a region increasingly influenced by outside forces. Despite its significance, the original Dega alphabet faced tremendous challenges with the onset of colonialism. The introduction of the French alphabet, which eventually replaced the original Dega writing system, marked a significant shift in the way Dega culture and language were expressed. Nevertheless, the original Dega alphabet remains a vital part of the Dega people's history representing a time when their linguistic identity flourished independently before the external pressures of colonization altered its trajectory. In 1954, a significant and tragic event occurred in Saigon that would have profound implications for the Dega people and their cultural heritage. The Hanoi government, amid the political turmoil of the time, ordered the destruction of the Dega alphabet book and the Bible written in the Dega language. This act was not merely a bureaucratic decision. It represented a systematic effort to erase the linguistic and cultural identity of the Dega people, who are indigenous to the central highlands of East Asia. 
The burning of these texts was emblematic of a broader strategy aimed at consolidating power and imposing a singular national identity. The Dega Alphabet Book served as an essential educational resource, providing the Dega youth with the tools to read and write in their native language. Similarly, the Bible held significant spiritual and cultural value for the community, as it was a key component of their religious practices and moral teachings. By eliminating these texts, the Hanoi government aimed to undermine the Dega people's connection to their language and traditions. This event occurred during a period of intense nationalist sentiment, particularly as Vietnam was transitioning from colonial rule to a new governmental structure. The act of burning the Dega alphabet book and Bible was not an isolated incident, but rather part of a larger campaign against minority languages and cultures perceived as threats to national unity. Such actions contributed to a climate of fear and suppression, leading to a loss of cultural heritage that would resonate for generations. The significance of this event extends beyond its immediate impact. It marked a turning point in the Dega people's relationship with their language and education. The destruction of their written forms forced a shift away from the Dega alphabet, which had been a crucial aspect of their educational curriculum from grade 1 to grade 12. This loss not only disrupted the transmission of knowledge but also signified a deeper cultural dislocation, as the Dega people were compelled to adapt to a new linguistic framework imposed by colonial powers. In summary, the burning of the Dega alphabet book and Bible in Saigon in 1954 was a pivotal moment in the history of the Dega people. It represented an assault on their linguistic heritage and a deliberate attempt to erase their cultural identity. This event set the stage for the subsequent adoption of the French alphabet, which would become the primary means of communication for the Dega people leading to enduring effects on their education and cultural expression. The transition from the original Dega alphabet to the French alphabet marked a significant transformation in the linguistic landscape of the Dega people. This shift can be traced back to the political and social upheaval surrounding the French colonization of East Asia, which profoundly impacted indigenous cultures and their educational systems. Previously, the Dega people utilized a unique alphabet that was closely tied to their cultural identity and educational practices. This alphabet served not only as a means of communication, but also as a vehicle for cultural expression and the transmission of knowledge. The Dega educational system, which spanned from grade 1 to grade 12, was designed to impart both academic and cultural education, utilizing the original Dega script as a foundational element in their curriculum. However, the geopolitical changes initiated by the French colonial presence led to a suppression of indigenous languages and scripts. The burning of the Dega alphabet book and the Bible in the Dega language in Saigon in 1954 symbolized a decisive break from the traditional educational practices. This event was not merely an act of destruction. It represented a broader strategy aimed at eradicating indigenous cultural identities in favor of a homogenized colonial narrative. In the aftermath of this cultural erasure, the Dega people were compelled to adopt the French alphabet as their primary means of written communication. This transition was not merely a change in script. It involved a restructuring of educational content and methodologies. The French alphabet, being foreign, introduced new linguistic frameworks and concepts that altered how the Dega people engaged with their language and culture. Today, the use of the French alphabet persists among the Dega, creating a lasting impact on their language, education, and identity. The shift has led to a gradual erosion of the original Dega script and its associated cultural significance. While the Dega continue to navigate their identity in the contemporary context, the legacy of this alphabet shift remains a poignant reminder of the broader effects of colonialism on indigenous education systems. In conclusion, the adoption of the French alphabet has not only transformed literacy among the Dega people, but also serves as a reflection of the historical and ongoing challenges faced by indigenous cultures in preserving their linguistic heritage.